Today, I'm going to return to recording some Crash Royale. This time, I'm going to start push 2,000 trophies and try and get there as level 6. I'm going to be experimenting with decks. Just because so, the same deck, I reckon, will get boring for, for the viewers. Let's open this chest to start with. Skeletons, rubbish, zap. We can get an upgrade, not great though. Minions, we can get an upgrade as well, nice. And fireball, don't use that. So, pretty bad chest. It's getting rocking, and as you see, we can upgrade minions and, fi and zap now. I'm going to try and build a deck involving this card here, the mirror. I've just unlocked it and I think it will work really, really well with some certain combos of cards. Using a, a, a giant push style deck. Fortunately, you can't see the stuff because, as you know, it's live, isn't it? Since you've been telling Richard, you always want to stay at an advantage on the tower, I like to put the goblins down, force him to make an early move. It's because he doesn't, you don't want to um, have your opponent have the same amount of elixir, but have more damage on the tower. This is a pretty classic start and move this. And I like it myself. I put down the bomber to take down the push. I wanted the bomber to stay alive, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Get some goblins down, I think. Good decision now to get the um, witch down. Now the witch is pushing up, I can get a giant in front of here with a bomber. And they can do a lot of damage unless well counted. Baby Dragon's only going to park on the giant and not do too much damage, so with this push, I'll put down Barb. We still get a lot of damage, but I will not get a power knife. Let's use the Valkyrie to get as much damage as possible on the Barb, which wasn't enough, really. Use the Goblin to distract the Barb so they can't do any damage, and that is well defended. Unfortunately, Although I do have the advantage of his tower, he clearly has an elixir advantage, which is not a good thing to be in an elixir disadvantage. I'm going to count this witch and just going to play fight fire with fire and put down the whole witch. Count this prince and going to get some spear goblins down to keep him distracted. Unfortunately, the dragon did not get slapped on the ice when the witch went down. So about time, but now I'm down and what would have been a witch is in the middle of the fire. And an arrow in the moon, I just want to show the dragon through. I'm missing the arrow through, what I'm seeing the bag. I'm set of arrows there. But I must just hold down with the witch and get a giant in front of the witch to and a bomber. And after being a fluffy power, I now want to develop it with a fluff on the other side of the ride. And it's about to raise the big power to fuck him. And I'm ending the power bus. And then, I'm going to fuck it up and find out. However, this is a nice bus bus. That's why I'm trying to catch it home now and get it off of the side to where you know we're pumping it. Good idea. I think we've got to do the famous with this prince and witch. However, I don't think we will have the set in mind. So we defend these both sides but perfectly well. So I'm now pushing this side hard. I need to get this power back before we get mad. I just about make it, and that is a 1 0 crown victory. One down, a bit a lot to go. Wishing luck, just to be nice, you know. Didn't use many emotes that last game. It's hard to concentrate whilst you're um, You said wow, and I'm right. So it's hard to concentrate while you're uh, you're talking and doing everything, so I just leave out the emotes. 
you need to put a giant in this corner. You can either throw a hit there or there if you want to get the most trees behind him. Both work quite equally well. So I'm going to get a witch and a mushroom tail behind the giant. Ah. What's an interesting move is four guys, you're going to have to find it. It's a good move. I'm going to be in and boil it and raise my mouth. I've decided to have a crowd and I'm going to use a bulky and such a piece. Oh man, it's going to be on me or something for it. And I've got a mushroom tail and the iron bulky on top of it. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that is now he's angry. I didn't have any power to defend the um, giant in the deck, don't know. I'm sure he has an Indian board. I don't think he will get up to them. I know he's got him about the curse of the Indian board. I'm looking for the curse of the Indian board. I'm not going to have that. And I think that is more valuable to have over him. The Goblin Battle. That's my reason, yeah. I really need to sound out to you, my rotation a little bit sooner. It goes just by now. However, I am still well ahead of him, and as long as I can hold this lead and possibly get. Ooh, man, I'm going. Possibly get a mother. The tower, that'd be nice. I really need to put everything I have into defending this goal. Goal is a good unit to defend. I have many, many helpers. I didn't need him to and he doesn't quite get me tower. Wishing wish him good luck for the future. Wish him a good game. I'm not, I'm not gonna be an idiot because that's just not nice. Makes people get the day worse. And that's just not the right thing to do. Anyway, let's go into another battle. I'm only winning 1-0 mostly at the moment because Well mostly because I'm using the the deck that isn't a free found push deck. I'll try and find one of them in one of the next episodes to use. This is going to be scary, the I'm going to start with an early hook. This is nice because he's put down this goblin hook which is also 5 elixir and this will do absolutely nothing to defend my giant witch. Muscle tear, whatever else. He has his own muscle tear which is a good move. However, I can pretty easily take it down if I am smart about this. However, because he put down his big goblin hook so early, I managed to take advantage with the fact advantage, and therefore I got a tower off him. This hook will be a lot harder, as I'm going against, straight into his hook pressure. Hook pressure is where all the hook troops are coming out from the hooks, obviously. That's what I like to call it. So I need to get as many splash damage and high damage dealing troops in front of the tank as possible. Let's see what these troops can do to the tower. See, I think about three would help this push a lot. Almost takes down Goblin Hut, so that was useful. However, it didn't do as much as I wanted it to do. And use Spear Goblins now just to finish off what he has at the moment. And also some ordinary goblin common moves because so that was not necessary. Ooh, no, he's always a 
I don't like that. Yeah, that's a smart about holding off that wizard. This is more about holding off all of this, but... Use a Valkyrie to uh, a bit more, but another witch to get more skeletons out of them. And now I need to save for that giant. Ooh, I don't want this to do anything. Wow, I didn't even realise it now. Maybe I can get it from the farm. Actually, never mind. I don't have enough time. And he's going to do his best to defend. Which, of course, he is going to because he's not have enough it was so slow. This time I, I'm going to laugh. Give him the hoops. And a well played. Because, I'm going to be honest, he played pretty poor with that game. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah.